This tutorial will show you uh, the places in Joomla where you can put the information that you have for your site for search engine optimization. Uh, there's a couple places and we'll take a look at where to do that now. First of all, we want to go to the global configuration. We're already logged into the back-end administration of the site and we have the control panel view before us right now. Uh, to get the global configuration, you can click on the global configuration button. If you're somewhere else in the site and you don't have this control panel view, you can always get the global configuration through site, the drop down, global configuration. Click and go there now. Uh, first place you want to pay attention for uh, SEO work is the site name, the name of your site. And uh, this is where you change it right here. It says basic Joomla there in the site name field. And whatever you place in that site name, field will show up in the top left corner of your title bar but it's also something that's factored into uh, by the search engines when they are indexing your site so have that site name something creative something that has some of your key uh, uh, key phrases or keywords in it uh, but uh, th that makes sense as well don't just have something plain like uh, my site or a dog site uh, put in something specific a dog grooming site for puppy owners, something like that. If, of course, your whole site was about something that specific, which is unlikely. But put your site name, your site title in there. And down a few fields, you'll see the global site meta description. Uh, here, place a descriptive paragraph about your site in this field. And again, use good description uh, of, uh, of for your whole site so that uh, the search engine algorithms can uh, pick up what your site's about. But keep in mind though that this paragraph will be read by people is displayed in your search results. So it should be properly formatted with punctuation, um, complete sentences, and capitalization. But this is where you put the description for your whole site. Then uh, you've got a place for you to put your meta keywords for, again, your whole site. Uh, different search engines pay different attention or not to keywords. Google makes no reference to them currently uh, with uh, respect to uh, any, any use for Google indexing your site. Bing does pay attention to them, bing.com, uh, but apparently uh, the latest that I've uh, read is that uh, they're really only paying attention to the first two uh, key phrases in your keywords. The rest um, in fact, if you have too many, you might get penalized, and uh, who knows what Yahoo does with keywords, but they're uh, not really that relevant for searching anyways, compared to uh, Google and Bing. But for your whole site, the keywords that you have, the, the, the phrases that you would type in to find a site like yours, uh, when you put it into Google or into a search engine, another search engine, that's where you put your keywords, your key phrases. Separate them with a comma and a space. So basically those are the areas that you would um, put in the global configuration your SEO uh, words and description. So I'm just going to close this and next we'll look at the uh, we'll go into article manager and I'm going to click on this article here and once we get into that article and being open, take a look on the right hand side over here where there's a drop down or a, an accordion bar there for metadata information. Clicking on that, you'll see we've got two fields here, description. Now this is for descriptive paragraph for the content of this particular page. And then keywords, your key phrases, uh, basically what you would put in uh, a search engine to search the terms, to search to find the information that's on this page. Again, uh, the same rules apply to uh, keywords for the whole site and uh, you want to have those phrases separated with a comma and a space. Robots is a field where you can put in information telling search engines not to find that page or to ignore that page, so it's irrelevant to our discussion right now. And the author field is also just a place where you could put in a name, whoever created this page. Uh, it fills in a field in some search engines. It's not really a big deal and it has no effect on your author name showing up on Joomla itself. So those two uh, 
or these uh, description and keywords that's what you want to focus on putting your SEO information in for each article I'm just going to close this and uh, say in closing that there are also places in certain components in Joomla where you can put in a descriptive paragraph and keywords to help search engines index your site properly. Some that come to mind uh, that I've used in the past, there's some um, components uh, that you can make forms in for submitting information on your site. Uh, they often have a description and paragraph, uh, a descriptive paragraph field and meta keywords. Uh, photo galleries, are another one that might give you uh, a place to put in meta information, SEO information uh, about pictures or articles, and uh, file management extensions uh, will also uh, often have a place for you to put in SEO information about the files or documents or whatever it is that is being downloaded. So you've got the uh, control panel, you've got the uh, meta area in the article editing view, and also keep out uh, keep an eye open for uh, places in components that you can uh, put in your SEO information and that will go a long way to helping your site be indexed by search engines and uh, improving your position in search results.